hit. I too did not want to get the vaccine. Um, I've never had a flu shot in my life. Injecting experimental drugs into me, not something I ever wanted to do. Traveling between the state that I live in, Hawaii and California, where I have family, uh, two states that have archaic uh, travel restrictions. Uh, I decided between the pressure of that and my airline that was going to require a mandate vaccine, I went and got the jab. I did it 11.30 in the morning in Hawaii. Uh, everything was normal. I went to bed. Woke up at 3.30 in the morning with my heart pounding out of my chest. I went to the ER. Uh, they hooked me up quickly to EKG, IVs, did blood work quickly determined that I was in atrial fibrillation. It's a major cause of stroke. Um, as Lee said, there's, there's uh, critical phases of flight where this, this stuff, when, when I certified to go fly, I have to check off a box before I go fly all you lovely people wherever you want to go before I take that multi-million airplane. I check this box and it says I'm fit to fly. That was before COVID. That's when you knew, yeah, I have food poisoning, I have a cold, whatever. Um, here, you never know when the genie's gonna come out of the bottle and smack you down. I could have stroked out at 100 feet trying to land an airplane with 40 airplanes lined up next to us. I could have just pushed down on that stick before the person next to me could do anything. We're in a, it's all over for a lot of people. Not a good scenario. Pete Buttigieg isn't telling you anything about this. The administration is not. The NIH, the CDC, they suppress all this stuff. There's a number of pilots out there that are fearful to come forward and speak. They're fearful of retribution. There's guys that are going to work with crushing pains in their chest, in their heads. They're scared that they're gonna lose their careers because they're 25 years old. This has got to stop.